Sarah, I'm here today because I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, some meal preparation tips and ideas that I have, um, just to share a couple things with you. Uh, this is my daughter, Alana. Yeah. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm just in the middle of feeding her lunch. Uh, sorry about all the jostling around, but I want to show you guys something. Oh, don't get fussy now. Um, but I made chicken tetrazzini last night, which is just, uh, I don't know what it is traditionally, but the, uh, the recipe I have for it, which is off recipesr.com, which has recently changed to food.com, I think, uh, is just chicken with um, bell peppers, onions, um, uh, celery, mm. and cheddar cheese, cream of mushroom soup, chicken broth, and chicken, uh, with any kind of pasta that you want. Anyway, I make those kind of casserole dishes quite a bit, uh, but my main tip that I wanted to share with you guys today that I've been using since my baby Madison, uh, who's three and a half now, since she was a baby, is freeze your food. Uh, if you are a busy mom, as we all are even with one baby, then uh, it's a real time saver, money saver, um, and it'll make it a lot easier to fill, feed your children healthier um, healthier foods. So I'm just going to turn this around on her so I can feed her real quick. Um, so instead of making your children like a TV dinner or going out to eat, you can just have something in the freezer that you've already made like this, um, chicken tetrazzini, which what I did was, this is the casserole dish that I made it in last night. What I do is I buy just zipper sandwich bags or quart size bags and then I put them in the, um, the quart size bags or the sandwich bags and then I put them in gallon sized freezer bags. When you are uh, packing it up, you know, try to make them about the same size and maybe try to make them the size, like the serving size that you're going to make. If you're going to feed the two children at the same time, usually in the same thing, then you can make it big enough for both, both of them. If you're just going to be feeding one, then just make it the serving size that they usually eat. In this case, I made it about a half bag, and then you just squeeze all the air out of it, make it nice and neat, and then just line it up in these bags. And then you can label the bags with the date and what you have. And then when you want to, you can take this out. Um, depending on what it is, you can either break the bag open because it will be like a big ice cube. Um, you can either break the bag open and just put the frozen kind of chunk in a bowl and uh, defrost it in the microwave, ta-da, or uh, sometimes you can just put the whole bag in there. Uh, some people may advise against that. I don't want anybody to get sick or anything, but I've been doing that with Madison since she was a baby. I made all her baby food from scratch. She never touched a bottle of jar of baby food, but with this one, that's all she ever had <laughs> because it's much, 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 much harder with two and more than it is with one. So anyway, about getting sick or whatever, in the microwave, I always put brown rice. Uh, just I would just open the bag, I would sit the bag up, and then I would just defrost it. Maybe add a little bit of water, and it's perfect. I also did that for pasta. So those are my food tips. Um, are freeze the, the healthy stuff and freeze most of your leftovers. If you think you're going to eat it again, don't just depend on it to be in the refrigerator and, sorry, I'm holding that a little too close. Don't just depend on it to be in the refrigerator and, oh, we'll eat it in the next few days and then it goes bad. Like I just let a whole crock pot full of chili go bad because I didn't freeze it. So just take a minute, put it in some bags, freeze it, and you will use it again. So easy to just get it out of there and feed it to the kids. So the things that you, um, the staples, I would say, that I like to keep frozen for the kids are whole wheat pasta and brown rice. And if you get your kids eating the whole wheat stuff from when they're kids, they never know any different. You know, like I've always given my kids half juice, half water. And so they don't know to miss the full strength juice because that's the only way they've ever known it. So therefore they get less sugar and then you can give them two glasses of juice instead of one a day or whatever. 
So what else? Along with the whole wheat pasta and the brown rice, you can also do um, vegetables if you really wanted to, but opening a can of vegetables isn't that hard. But if you had leftovers, say you open up a can of green beans for the baby and you only use one serving of it and you put it in the fridge, you don't want it to go bad, you don't think you're going to use it in the next couple of days, just put the whole rest of the leftovers in a quart size freezer bag and just throw it in the freezer. It'll keep for months and then you don't even have to worry about it. It's so easy to defrost. Um, what else? Uh, what else about that subject? You could also do meat. That's a really good idea. Like, uh, I, I love the chicken breast tenderloin. They're even better than just the regular boneless, skinless chicken breast. They are a little bit more expensive per pound, but they are so good. And all I do is I put just salt and pepper. I don't put any oil or anything in the pan. I just put them in the pan. It's a non-stick pan. I put them on the other side. Turn it around, let them brown on the other side. And then I actually just put water in it. Like when it starts to really sizzle and like burn a little bit, you want to put water in it. And just let it sit in, in the pan for a couple minutes. And if you're going to freeze it and then you frost it, then you have to keep it in there the whole... I don't even know how long you would put just a small tenderloin. After you do each side, you let it sit in there with the water maybe five minutes to make sure that it's completely done. But then you can just throw the whole tenderloin, or you can cut it up into small chunks and just put it in a bag and freeze it. And that way it's just really easy for the kids, and it's, um, you could just use those just like chicken nuggets without all the saturated fat and everything that's on that breading. Uh, so I guess I'll cut that off now because I don't want to make this too big and God knows I've already talked too long. But I'll definitely be sharing more with you guys and thanks for tuning in. Bye.